Okay, we're making quesadillas. I'm excited to be here and to show you quesadillas. This was actually your third or fourth lab, your fourth lab. We were supposed to do in May a quesadilla lab in class. Frying pan here with just a pat of butter. A pat of butter is about a teaspoon. You don't have to measure it. You just put a little bit of butter in the bottom. You know, if you if you don't want butter, you could use a little bit of um, um, pan spray, like cooking spray, something like that. It's whatever works for you. Um, the reason I'm showing quesadillas is quesadillas are so flexible. There's so much you can do with them. So first of all, you can, you can pick which kind of tortillas you want. I've got corn tortillas in my kitchen, and I also have flour tortillas. And so I think I'll do corn tortillas today because I might have this for lunch since I can eat corn tortillas. Anyway, you're gonna pull out two corn tortillas, and as soon as your butter is melted in your frying pan, you can throw one of your tortillas in there and then we can figure out what's going on top or inside. Um, and I usually just, oh, I'm not even smeared around. You don't get burned. Well, be careful. For those of you who've never used a stove before, you could use or your pancake turner to move it around. You just want butter on the surfaces and then decide if you're using regular cheddar cheese. Um, the other kinds of cheese that I had upstairs are, um, I have pepper chack, pepper jack shreds. Um, those could be used and these are dairy alternatives. So if that was something good for you or just, this is also another dairy alternative that I have. Um, and it's pretty tasty and it actually melts kind of like cheese. Um, I might have to spell it C-H-E-E-Z -E -E because you know how fake cheese, if you haven't had fake cheese before, it's not the same. Um, many years ago, my mom used to buy it for health reasons and not for like a dietary restriction necessarily. And it was pretty foul actually, but um, they've improved a lot since then. So anyway, I'm putting a little cheese on my tortilla. Whoops, it just slid around anyway. And um, I also can put some meat. And so the only meats I had available in my freezer, again, I'm not shopping because it's COVID times. So I have a little ham, I diced that up. I'm gonna use that. But I also, my son brought over yesterday smoked salmon that he um, smoked himself. And so I could use that if I wanted to. Um, I also in the freezer had some bacon. That is also a possibility. You just use what you have. So quesadillas are nice because you don't have to worry that, oh, now I don't have exactly the right ingredients. Um, you can just use what you have. And they are delicious. And so it's picking on one side. It's And one of the things you'll notice, and it fascinates me, that tortillas shrink when you cook them. So what you're going to find is that the bottom tortilla, the one that's next to the heat, is going to get smaller than the other tortilla. But then you flip it, flip it over, and you will um, continue cooking it till the tortillas are the same size. And so I want the tortilla to get golden brown. Um, so it'll just take another minute to get it golden brown. Um, my stove top is on medium. I really don't want it on high because <laughs> that's just going to burn it before the cheese melts, and you definitely don't want that. So um, what else can I tell you about quesadillas? Um, they're just really versatile. Anything that you have in the fridge that you can put in there, you could probably put. Um, cheese is really helpful because it glues everything together, but beyond that, it's super flexible about what your ingredients are. So I flip it over and you'll see that I've got two sizes of tortillas here. It doesn't matter because the other one's going to shrink down. And then the top one that was on the bottom before is going to be golden brown. A lot of people make quesadillas in the microwave and that turns out fine too. Um, this, I just like the golden brown that um, you get when you cook on the stove top. I also like, um, it just, uh, it feels um, more like I cared and I tried hard, <laughs> um, which I know sounds really dumb, but sometimes you feel like when you just throw something in the microwave and it's done for 30 seconds, it's almost like it's just kind of a fake meal or just like an almost snack and not a real thing. So for me, I just like that, um, that it, it feels done. And I'm really curious to see why this is smoking so much. Um. Oh, <laughs> we've got one, uh, one cool answer from Christine so far. She says, honestly, pepperoni in a tortilla with cheese is pretty good. Doesn't sound like it should be, but it is. So that's like a pizza case quesadilla. I don't think that's weird at all. Um, sounds delicious. Um, Cora likes to put broccoli in her quesadilla. That's a good Cora, way to that's that, amazing. Right? That's so yeah. cool. 
That's very cool. Spence, Spence likes carrots. Bella likes ham. Allie likes cilantro. Wow. You guys are gourmets. Oh. This is awesome. Uh, Erica likes hers plain. Those are delicious, too. I personally like to, to do, like, a, a Mexican-style quesadillas, you know, and then turn it into a, a tostada or something by piling stuff on top, like shredded uh, lettuce and tomatoes and uh, salsa after you've made it. But I also like them plain, too. Those are pretty delicious. So here's the bottom side, and it's golden brown. And then you can just cut it up and serve it to your family. So one of the, I don't know if you've used kitchen scissors before to cut things up, but they're super handy to cut things up when you don't want, when you're using, cutting something on a plate and you don't want to scratch the surface, you can just slide the scissors underneath and cut your quesadilla into quarters. I might, you know what? Helpful hint, wait two minutes before you cut up your quesadilla so the cheese has a chance to set um, as mine is starting to look pretty scary. I thought, oh, I can just do that. But really with pizza, if you wait a few minutes when it comes out of the oven, with quesadillas, if you wait just a minute or two, then you'll end up with um, something that looks a little nicer. And if I were really a gourmet, um, which lots of times we have on colors in the fridge, I would slice some avocado and put it either in it right at the end or put it on my plate. So it's delicious. So anyway, thanks for joining me for this. Let's finish up our class.